Thank you. Welcome back for the last night of session. Also come to order. Representative Longhurst. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Are there any communications? There are no communications. Representative Longhurst. Uh, that is awesome. Then I move <laughs> for the current legislative day. <laughs> Stand adjourned. Let's come to order. Mr. Clark, please call the roll. Mr. Bombeck. Present. Mr. Bombeck, present. Ms. Bennett. Present. Ms. Bennett, present. Mr. Benz. Present. Mr. Benz, present. Ms. Bolden. Present. Ms. Bolden, present. Mr. Brady. Present. Mr. Brady, present. Mrs. Briggs King. Present. Mrs. Briggs King, present. Mr. Bush. Present. Mr. Bush, present. Mr. Carson. Present. Mr. Carson, present. Mr. Chipocha. Present. Mr. Chicocha, present. Mr. Collins. Present. Mr. Collins, present. Mr. Cook. Present. Mr. Cook, present. Mrs. Dorsey Walker. Present. Mrs. Dorsey Walker, present. Mr. Dukes. Present. Mr. Dukes, present. Mr. Gray. Present. Mr. Gray, present. Mrs. Griffith. Present. Mrs. Griffith, present. Mrs. Heffernan. Present. Mrs. Heffernan, present. Mr. Hensley. Present. Mr. Hensley, present. Mr. Jakes. Present. Mr. Jakes, present. Mrs. Johnson. Present. Mrs. Johnson, present. Mr. Q. Johnson. Present. Mr. Q. Johnson, present. Mr. Kowalka. Present. Mr. Kowalka, present. Mrs. Longhurst. Present. Mrs. Longhurst, present. Mr. Lynn. Present. Mr. Lynn, present. Mr. Matthews. Present. Mr. Matthews, present. Mrs. Minor Brown. Present. Mrs. Minor Brown, present. Mr. Mitchell. Present. Mr. Mitchell, present. Mr. Morris. Present. Mr. Morris, present. Mr. Osinski. Present. Mr. Osinski, present. Mr. Postals. Present. Mr. Postal's present. Mr. Ramon. Present. Mr. Ramon, present. Mr. Siegfried. Present. Mr. Siegfried, present. Mr. Short. Present. Mr. Short, present. Mr. Shoup. Present. Mr. Shoup, present. Mr. Smith. Present. Mr. Smith, present. Mr. Smick. Present. Mr. Smick, present. Mr. Spiegelman. Present. Mr. Spiegelman, present. Mr. Vanderwin. Present. Mr. Vanderwin, present. Mr. Viola. Present. Mr. Viola, present. Mrs. Williams. Present. Mrs. Williams, present. Mr. Yarrick. Present. Mr. Yarrick, present. Mr. Speaker. Present. Mr. Speaker, present. Mr. Speaker, the roll call reveals 41 present. House representatives is formally in session. Each member's identity has been authenticated by the presiding officer. The prayer for today will be offered by Representative Ron Gray. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, may please bow our heads. Dear Father, we we come to you today with heartfelt gratitude for all the blessings you've bestowed upon us, our families, and friends. We pray you comfort those who are and have been adversely affected by the Corona-19 virus through illness or loss of a family member. We thank you for our first state and our nation as we prepare to celebrate the 4th of July. We thank you for the freedoms we enjoy in this country, so filled with many blessings. Let us remember how far we have come in the cause of freedom and equality for all, and yet remember that we still have far to go. Let us strive to remember the simplest of your commands. Love your neighbor as yourself. No matter how rich or poor, how young or old, the color of your skin, where you come from, where you live, or what you believe in. Thank you for the opportunity to work together in this 150th assembly Watch over us and guide us until we meet again. Amen. Amen. Before we go to the Pledge of Allegiance, I have a request from Representative Siegfried for a moment of silence for Scott Davidson and Blake Bailey uh, from Ardencroft. Uh, both will have been active in town government act activities. On my behalf, I would like to ask for a moment of silence for Linda Lee Patamas, uh, mother of Stephanie Prisgaki, who is a constituent of mine. Representative Briggs King, did you have a moment of silence? Yes, you? I did for Mary Beatrice Shockley. Thank you. Moment of silence. Thank you. Please join. Uh, our Chief Clerk, Rich Puffer, as he leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance on his final day. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
Minutes of the previous legislative day have been posted and without objection will be accepted as posted. Mr. Clark, please read into legislative advisories received from Governor Harney and take about nine minutes doing it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Communication from the Office of the Governor, dated February 6, 2020, legislative advisory number 22. Governor John Carney signed the following legislation on the date indicated, House Bill 290, on February 6, 2020. Communication from the Office of the Governor dated February 11, 2020. Legislative Advisory Number 23. Governor John Carney signed the following legislation on the date indicated. House Bill 87 as amended by House Amendment 1, House Amendment 2, and House Amendment 3. House Bill 118 as, a House, as amended by House Amendment 1, House Amendment 2, and House Amendment 3. House Bill 20, House Bill 250, House Joint Resolution Number 7, House Joint Resolution Number 8, House Joint Resolution Number 9, House Bill 178 as amended by House Amendment Number 1, House Bill 273, Senate Bill 198, Senate Bill 177, Senate Bill 200 as amended by Senate Amendment 1, Senate Bill 196, Senate Bill 85. Those were all signed on February 10th, 2020. And the following is a constitutional amendment and does not require the governor's signature, House Bill 78, or excuse me, 73, and that was transmitted on February 10th, 2020. Communication from the Office of the Governor dated February 25th, 2020. Legislative Advisory Number 24, Governor John Carney signed the following legislation on the date indicated. This would be February 20th, 2020. That's House Bill 264 and House Bill 212 as amended by House Amendment 1 and Senate Amendment 1 and House Amendment 5 as amended by House Amendment 1 to House Amendment 5 and Senate Amendment 2 and Senate Amendment 3. And on the 25th of February, 2020, the governor signed House Bill 152 as amended by House Amendment 1 and Senate Bill 195 as amended by Senate Amendment Number 1. Mr. Speaker, the communication from the Office of the Governor dated April 8th, 2020, Legislative Advisory Number 25. Governor John Carney signed the following legislation on the dates indicated March 3rd, 2020, House Bill 275. March 11th, 2020, Senate Bill 190, excuse me, 139 as amended by Senate Amendment 1 and House Amendment 4 and House Amendment 5. And on April 8th, 2020, Senate Bill number 96. Mr. Speaker, from the Office of the Governor, communication dated May 8th, 2020, Legislative Advisory number 26, Governor John Carney signed the following legislation on the date indicated. May 1st, 2020, House Bill 202 as amended by House Amendment 1. And a communication from the Office of the Governor dated June 23rd, 2020, Legislative Advisory number 27, Governor John C. Carney signed the following legislation on the date indicated, House Bill 301, and that was on June 22nd, 2020. Mr. Speaker, this concludes the reading of the legislative advisories from the Office of the Governor. Thank you, you did that in four minutes. So we have five minutes, but I would like to bring up uh, that we have a trip. Uh, um, he's been elected um, with his wife and they celebrate their anniversary on this day. And he has brought her, I think she's down in the office right now, uh, but he has brought her to Leg Hall on June 30th to keep the tradition going. And he sure knows how to, to, to show his bride a good time on, a, on our anniversary. How many years has it been, Danny? You get, get you gotta unmute yourself. Caught me off the card there, Mr. Speaker. I didn't know I was I'm gonna sorry. Have, I didn't know I was gonna have to make up the five minutes there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm giving, you, I'm giving you the floor to speak. There you go. Well, it's, uh, Debbie is downstairs. This is how we have traditionally 
uh, for 14 years. The last 14 years celebrated our anniversary here on June 30th. Uh, sometimes it's uh, shorter than others. And uh, a couple of years ago, we celebrated at uh, Rudy's with my grandson at 8.30 in the morning with blueberry pancakes. So uh, Majority Leader Longhurst was correct. This is a lot uh, nicer night and uh, certainly the opportunity, I think, to uh, celebrate an anniversary along with, uh, I like to just say, a, a unique uh, retirement of our good friend Quinn Johnson. So it's uh, the way to do it, to say goodbye and say uh, uh, so long from this chamber, but for friendships that will last forever. I believe these relationships, just like our marriage, are meant to last a long time. So I'll, I'll, I'll disclose it's 47 years uh, that Debbie and I uh, are celebrating tonight and uh, appreciate the opportunity to do it in a lot calmer manner and uh, just wishing everybody the very best and a happy July 4th. So thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it very much. Just for everybody's knowledge, I offered Danny the opportunity to take his wife to dinner, to a movie, to whatever, and, and just, you know, not even call in if he didn't want to at the end. And, and uh, he said, nope, we had tradition. My wife wants to continue to tradition. So uh, good things last, Danny. You do. So. Thank you. And uh, anybody else have anything? We have about two minutes uh, for the good of the record, good of the uh, order. Mr. Speaker, we could have Representative Gray saying happy birthday to everybody. That <laughs> no, I don't think we want to do that to the public out here. <laughs> well, for next for next session, I just want everybody to get the words right for next year. So practice over, you know, over the summer here. Well, for, for all the July people and the August people, well, I don't have to sing, but I can wish all those uh, this upcoming summer until, uh, until we go back into session. And for those, uh, Quinn, for you, I won't be able to do that next year. So uh, you have a great year. And it, it's, uh, it's a fun thing I, I enjoy doing. And it's a special day for each of you, whenever that is. So you should enjoy it. Thank, thanks, Pete. I just want to say that this is probably, at least in my career, it has been the, less, the least stressful June 30th that I've had. So I kind of enjoy this, uh, just saying goodbye and, and uh, just putting this, this session, this crazy session that we've had because of this virus, uh, put it to bed, hopefully put it behind us, and hopefully in January we'll be back and uh, sitting in the, in the chamber here. I keep looking out, like when I call on, on uh, Representative Longhurst to talk, I always look above and look down to her empty chair before I realize she's on the screen and I, you know. So we're just now getting this whole thing right and know what we're doing up here and now it's gone, we're done. So uh, we have about a half a minute. Represent, uh, Representative Longhurst, you wanna go ahead and start the protocol? Um, sure, Mr. Speaker, I move that the second session of the 150, 150th General Assembly stand adjourned. The second session of the 150th General Assembly will stand adjourned. So come to order. Mr. Clark, please read the communication from the Lieutenant Governor and the Speaker of the House. Mr. Speaker, two members of the 150th General Assembly from Peter C. Schwarzkopf, Speaker of the House of Representatives and Bethany A. Hall Long, Lieutenant Governor of the State of Delaware, subject special session date July 1st, 2020. Pursuant to the provisions of Article 2, Section 4 of the Constitution of the State of Delaware, of 1897 as amended, we hereby declare the 150th General Assembly of the State of Delaware in special session. Signed, Peter C. Schwarzkopf, Speaker of the House of Representatives, and Bethany A. Hall Long, Lieutenant Governor and President of the Senate. Mr. Speaker, this concludes the reading of the communication. If the 150th General Assembly is convened in special session, Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Mr. Bombeck. Present. Mr. Bombeck, present. Ms. Ben, excuse present. me. Ms. Bennett. Present. Present. Mr. Benz. Present. Mr. Benz, present. Ms. Bolden. Present. Ms. Bolden, present. Mr. Brady. Present. Mr. Brady, present. Mrs. Briggs King. Present. Mrs. Briggs King, present. Mr. Bush. Present. Mr. Bush, present. Mr. Carson. Present. Mr. Carson, present. Mr. Chukwocha. Present. Mr. Chipocha, present. Mr. Collins. Present. Mr. Collins, present. Mr. Cook. Present. Mr. Cook, present. Mrs. Dorsey Walker. Present. Mrs. Dorsey Walker, present. Mr. Dukes. Present. Mr. Dukes, present. Mr. Gray. Present. 
Mr. Gray, present. Mrs. Griffith. Present. Mrs. Griffith, present. Mrs. Heffernan. Present. Mrs. Heffernan, present. Mr. Hensley. Present. Mr. Hensley, present. Mr. Jakes. Present. Mr. Jakes, present. Mrs. Johnson. Present. Mrs. Johnson, present. Mr. Q. Johnson. Present. Mr. Q. Johnson, present. Mr. Kowalko. Present. Mr. Kowalko, present. Mrs. Longhurst. Present. Mrs. Longhurst, present. Mr. Lynn. Present. Mr. Lynn, present. Mr. Matthews. Present. Mr. Matthews, present. Mrs. Minor Brown. Present. Mrs. Minor Brown, present. Mr. Mitchell. Present. Mr. Mitchell, present. Mr. Morris. Present. Mr. Morris, present. Mr. Osinski. Present. Mr. Osinski, present. Mr. Postals. Present. Mr. Postals, present. Mr. Ramon. Present. Mr. Ramon, present. Mr. Siegfried. Present. Mr. Siegfried, present. Mr. Short. Present. Mr. Short, present. Mr. Shoup. Present. Mr. Shoup, present. Mr. Smith. Present. Mr. Smith, present. Mr. Smick. Present. Mr. Smick, present. Mr. Spiegelman. Present. Mr. Spiegelman, present. Mr. Vanderwin. Present. Mr. Vanderwin, present. Mr. Viola. Present. Mr. Viola, present. Mrs. Williams. Present. Mrs. Williams, present. Mr. Yarrick. Present. Mr. Yarrick, present. Mr. Speaker. Present. Mr. Speaker, present. Mr. Speaker, the roll call reveals 41 present. Thank you, Mr. Clark. The prayer for today will be offered by Representative Tim Dukes. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity that we all have to serve in this 150th General Assembly. Lord, although it has been a different and a, at times a difficult uh, last year, thank you, Lord, for uh, your love and your grace in our lives. Lord, we pray uh, especially for Representative Quinn Johnson as he uh, moves on to another phase of life. And Lord, we're grateful for his his work and his dedication here. Lord, we lift up uh, our entire state. And uh, Lord, you know all the things that are going on from uh, the virus to racial tension and just the difficulties that we have faced as legislators. But Lord, we ask for your grace and your favor as we move forward. Thank you, Lord, for um, loving us and for watching over us. And uh, Lord, thank you for the relationship we have together. Uh, as legislators and friends. And Lord, we just pray now that you be with us and guide us through this summer. Protect us, keep us safe. And Lord, we give you all the thanks. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mr. Puffer, will you lead us in the flags again? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Rich. The minutes of the previous, previous legislative day are available in the chief clerk's office. I have uh, three people. Representative Minor Brand. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I raised my hand about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> it was actually to Representative Gray when we were talking about him singing happy birthday. I oh, asked okay. him if he could, um, over the summer, maybe uh, learn the words to Stevie Wonder's birthday song. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize for cutting you guys off, but I had to shut it down because it was like 30 seconds to midnight. So I had to get to the protocol. Representative Smith. Yeah, I was uh, also going to help you kill some time, Mr. Speaker, but... Um, I think I, I do want to say it's been a pleasure to work with everybody this year. Definitely a lot of newbies, so not the year we expected uh, or the way to finish our first term, that's for sure. Um, but appreciate everybody's uh, resiliency, ability to adapt. Uh, you kept me busy on a lot of task forces over the last uh, two years, um, so I've gotten a chance to work with everybody uh, in some capacity, but it's been a pleasure, so thank you very much. Thank you. Representative Quinn Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you to my other family. Uh, it's been a bittersweet evening for me to be able to say that this was the last time that I was able to say present. Uh, the other night when I made my announcement and then the countless number of text messages and messages that I've received from all of you have been extremely, extremely humbling. Didn't want this to be a moment to realize just how much you all meant to me and how much I meant to you. Um, it is something that, yes, we all will move on from this phase of our lives, 
uh, at some point in time. Those have been there longer than me, some shorter. Um, but you all are very, very important to what you do. You're all one of 41 people in this entire state. And I'm proud of each and every one of you for stepping up, raising your hand, taking the punishment that you all do from not just obviously each other, uh, sadly, uh, in our dysfunctional family, uh, but also from the media, from the public, uh, and also the punishment you take from the sacrifices you make. I'm one that truly recognizes the sacrifices you guys do and the commitment you have. I wanna thank you for that. I'm proud of each and every one of you. It's been an extremely humbling experience for me. Um, I want to say that I'm gonna miss you, but you guys, I'm not gonna disappear. I'm not gonna be one of those that you don't see me. I won't be down there a lot, but I'll certainly still be involved. I still have several issues that I'm gonna be passionate about. But when I did the switch from my education uh, initiatives when I first selected that Val talked about to more of the business initiatives. I did so because I knew that things were going to be in good hands. And when I was contemplating this decision, I know for a fact that the issues facing the state of Delaware are in good hands with the rest of you. And for that, I take great comfort of being able to say that I can step away because it'll be handled. So definitely thank you all very much for your very, very kind words. They have meant a lot to me. And a special thanks to Representative Qualco for all his pleasant words and beautiful comments throughout the years. I'll miss them greatly. You guys have a great, great uh, evening. Thank you all very much. Representative Ramon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just wanted to say three quick things. First of all, Quinn, you're a class act and we're all gonna miss you very much. Second, Kevin, Jules has her, the bracelet came in today. I, I do have my vow, so all for Mike, and I have the congratulations badge that she gave me. So I know she's probably listening, and I just want to say thank you very much. And Pete and, and, and Danny, you guys know uh, one big tradition there has always been us having to drive home in the middle of the night after a long, exhausting day. I know it hasn't been as bad, but it's been a long, exhausting year. So you two in particular, and Richard and the rest of the staff that all have to be in Dover, Please drive safe. We remember the one year one of us, uh, and unfortunately it wasn't any of us here, but one of the legislators had an accident on the way home. Um, please be safe um, and and uh, thank you. Well, Danny and I are going to keep up that tradition of driving home late. So um, before I turn it over to Val to take us out of here, um, I wanna thank the unsung heroes in this whole mess, which is the DTI staff. staff and uh, thank you guys for, for sitting over here to my left. Uh, they're the ones that have kept this thing rolling. They're clapping for you. So uh, thank you guys very much. We couldn't have done it without you. And you've been a class act. So thank you. Uh, Representative <laughs> Quinn's doing this. There yeah. you go. My yeah. son. Yeah, there you go. Representative Longhurst, take us out of here. I know you have something to say first. Uh, you're muted. There you go. All right, then. Um, first of all, I, I think we need to recap uh, what we went through this year. So we've heard numerous times during the past four months that we've been living in unprecedented times, and that's absolutely the case. And COVID-19 has forced us all into the most unusual legislative session in our lifetime and possibly in the state of Delaware. And we have done our best to keep the wheels of government turning, focusing on the most critical functions and keeping our lines of communication open our obligation to pass the state's operating budget as well as funding construction projects through the bond bill and the funding of nonprofits through grant and aid bill was our top priority. We also prioritized legislation that had protected residents <clears throat> against the pandemic and the negative effects that it had on our society and our state. We also identified non-controversial bills that ensured continuity of government, protected our neighbors and provided revenue for the state. Throughout all of this, we have kept open lines of communication to our caucus members, our colleagues across the aisle, and our colleagues in the Senate. We have all worked diligently to ensure as many of the needs as possible were met during this very unprecedented time. I know that this doesn't come without some disappointment. All of us have legislative priorities that are not getting addressed this year, whether it's criminal justice reform, the clean water, voting rights, or countless other issues. There are many bills that have been left on the table and we're gonna to have to pick them back up in January. 
And I understand it's frustrating for all of us, but I do believe we have done the best that we could and committed to working twice as hard next year to advance some of these legislative priorities. We appreciate everyone's patience and diligence during these past few months. And I hope that everybody stays healthy and safe during the le legislative recess. Thank you very much. And Mr. Speaker, at that, I would like, I would like to um, move to recess to the call of the chair. I want everybody to stay safe and healthy and uh, take care of each other. And we'll see you back here in January. <laughs> Special session, stand in recess to call the chair. Thank <laughs> you.